What's up, glue dots? I'm Elaine, the Midnight Crafter. Today's craft is actually going to be, now, yes, I did say today, and I'm actually not crafting at midnight. My kids went to a graduation party. My husband went boating. So, oh, I get to craft all day long. So I'm really excited. Anyway, so today's craft, which may go into the night, who knows, is going to be a nice a display uh, trinket little shelf thing for your bathroom or forever you choose to use it. And I'm actually going to do two versions in it because I know a lot of you are a little more into maybe the nautical theme or the farmhouse decor, where others of you are really into the glam theme and the bling. So I'm actually going to do two versions in one video and I hope this turns out the way it is in my mind turning out and doesn't become a fiasco between the two projects but I'm gonna do my best to describe them and work them and show them so that you can remake them at home okay before we get to that Please, if you'd like to stick around with me and join the Glue Dot family by hitting the subscribe button below and then also the bell next to it. That way, anytime I upload a new video, you will be the first to know. So with that being said, the housekeeping being done. Ha ha, housekeeping. Forget housekeeping. We're crafting today. <laughs> Let's get to it. I'm going to do my best since I'm going to be doing two of these at the same time. I'm going to do my best to try and show you um, them in conjunction. So what I will probably do is do one with a little more detail and then um, with the basic ideas and then make the other one with not so much detail. So you can choose which one you want to make um, basically by following the first one that I show you how to make in detail. Okay, so what I'm going to do actually is start here with the darker plates and I'm going to go ahead and do the nautical maybe theme. Initially for the first one, I'm going to be using the full height of my um, cordial glass. So it's going to get be glued on there. But before I do that, I like to clean my surface with a bit of alcohol so that it gives the best adhesion and there's no uh, oils or anything that might interfere. So the first thing I want to do is for this one I'm going to be covering this with twine. Now if we were doing the the other one we're going to be covering it with bling. This one for for this style we're going to be covering this with this uh, twine and this twine I actually got at Walmart because it's a thicker twine than the Dollar Tree twine is and it will cover this a little bit more quickly but if you don't want to get that one or you already have twine on hand from Dollar Tree then absolutely by all means use that. So I'll start at the bottom with a bit of my hot glue and uh, go and we're going to be going all the way around until the whole glass is covered. So when you're going around, you don't necessarily, once you get a good start going on it, you don't necessarily have to glue all of it around. What I would do is every, a dot or so, every, um, I don't know, half inch should be enough just to hold it in place. And as you get further up, what you can even do is make a little line of glue so that you don't have to stop every time you go around. But you are going to want to work a little bit fast so your glue doesn't um, dry up or get hard. That way it makes this go so much quicker than sitting there gluing piece by piece. And fast is good because then means we can do more projects. Yay! Okay, I'm winding to the end here, so I'm actually going to be putting it all the way around again because we don't want this part to slide off. Not that it's going to go far because it's going to be up against the bottom of the dish, but you know, just being thorough. Okay, so we're at the end here. I'm going to 
cut that piece off. Make sure everything's glued down nicely. And then what we're going to be doing, the biggest plate here, which this one is my 15.5 centimeters. We're going to be gluing this just like that. Actually, I take that back, just like that, because we want the smaller edge to be down at the bottom so it gives you more space to put things on your tray. So I'm going to be using a combination of my E6000 and my hot glue. The E6000, as you know, gives more of a permanent hold. The glue gun gives more of an immediate hold. So it's a match made in heaven. These Find the center of your plate and set her down. Okay, there we have it so far. Very easy peasy. The next step we're going to do is add our hot glue and our E6000 here. This one is my 13.5 centimeter plate. I'm actually going to turn this over and set it down on there so I can see easier where the center is. Now I know it's not going to show for you guys very easily, but I will show you in a second. Okay, so the next step is going to be cutting one of our cordial glasses because it's a bit tall. If we do it fully to the height uh, of the other one, I'm going to kind of show you here. To me, I mean, it's fine if you want to do it that way. Um, I just feel like it's a bit high, um, a bit of a distance. So I would like to shorten up my cordial glass a bit so this top plate is a little closer down. So now there are two options for that and the first option if you don't have one of these hot knives which I highly recommend getting one. I did not have one for the longest time and I was trying every other method for things. I really really like this. It's great. It makes crafting so much quicker. So if you're a crafter that does things on a regular basis I would definitely invest in that and it's really not that expensive. So what I'm going to show you if you don't have the hot knife is how to do this cutting with scissors. You don't get as clean of a line because we're using the twine around it it's really not going to matter much that we don't have a clean line but um, let me show you how we're going to do that. So I'm going to be cutting my cordial glass down by about an inch and a half. So what we're going to do, either way, whether you're cutting with scissors or whether you're using your hot knife, you're going to want to measure out and do um, make a line because it will lay a lot nicer. So I'm going to draw my marking there and continue to measure around until I've gone all the way around and I can make my line. Okay, so now that I have all my dots in place, I'm going to go ahead and connect those dots. And that's where I'm going to be cutting with, I'll show you first with the scissors, and then I'll clean up my line with, um, with the hot knife. So if you're going to be using the scissors, what you're going to do, you're going to do some small cuts. Watch your eyes because these little suckers go flying. Make some cuts all the way around in your glass. And use the back side of the scissors. You'll never be able to cut it this way. They just don't have the leverage. And then snap off some of those pieces. And then what you're going to want to do is go around and cut just a little bit at a time close to that edge and continue going around continue until until you get down to the line but you can really only do thin thin little bit at a time 
it's really not optimal but as I said if you don't have the um, hot knife that's an option so just to show you kind of that's what you can do and then you're obviously going to want to clean it up to make sure it's straight and level I'm going to actually cut it with my hot knife since I do have one but just wanted to show you guys how to do that okay so taking the hot knife you just kind of go right into it and this thing cuts like butter it's so awesome okay you can see I get a much cleaner cut I do have a little bit of a jagged edge there that I'm going to cut off but for the most part my goodness so much easier and again make sure you do this stuff in a well ventilated space I'm in my office but I do have the door open I have the window open and um, getting some airflow through here Okay, so we're going to continue and do this the same way we did our other glass, covering it with the twine and starting at the bottom and going all the way around, same way as we did with our other one. So now that this one's done, I'm going to do the same thing and glue it to the center of this using my E6000 and hot glue. This one I'm actually going to glue big side down so that it kind of matches nicely with the underneath one and looks a little more cohesive. I think in hindsight I would have done the bottom one um, with this, the big side down and do this one with the small side down so that because this top plate's smaller it would have given a little more space on it but anyway that's what happens when you're doing things on the fly. Okay, we have that down. We'll now take our small plate, which is the 10.5 centimeter, so 10.5 centimeter plate, and we're going to be attaching that to the top. So if you wanted to, you can actually be done at this point, but I'm actually going to put um, a little, I don't know, a, an embellishment on top to make it almost look like a handle but it won't really be a handle and that's what I'm going to use these shells for. Now if you want to go for a different look, a wooden knob or something like that, that would work as well. But I don't know, I thought it'd be kind of cute to do it with um, some shells and make a different kind of something a little more unique because anybody can put a store-bought knob on, right? We want to make our own and dazzle the world. So I'm looking for a shell that would make a good handle. And um, actually that would be a perfect one. Something like that or potentially, depending how tall you want to make it, maybe something like this. These could be glued on on a different part of it if you want to. I think I, since I found this shell, I think I'm going to actually go with this one. And to create a base for that, we're going to use some of our twine or nautical rope or whatever you want to call this. And I'm going to glue a little, tiny little bit of glue here. So I'm going to be putting a little bit of glue around the bottom of this and building it up in order to make a little knob or a decoration for the top. So I'm going around in a circle. And then I'm going to be going on top of that rope as well to build up a base. and build it up until you get the height that you would like. So if that's about what I've got. I think I'm going to cut it off here. And then tuck that little end inside the hole. 
and add some E6000 and some hot glue as well and glue it to the top of the tray to form our little uh, knob or handle or whatever you want to call it. Now as a handle it's obviously not going to be strong enough to lift up your whole tray so it's just going to give the appearance of a handle. And we're going to glue that right into the center on the top. I like the way that looks, but I feel like I'm not done. I think I'm going to actually add another shell. <laughs> it's growing. Um, yeah, I think I'm actually going to add that little shell on there because I like that. And here we have this project that's done. If you would like, you can add some shells on, you know, adding them onto this part. You don't have to. You don't have to add the knob. You do whatever you like. So I'm going to move on to the glam one. I'm going to work through that one just a bit faster since we have the basis that we learned on this one. And let me clean up my space and we'll get to the bling one. Okay, so starting in on the glam one, I am going to be using these uh, self-adhesive gemstone stickers from Dollar Tree. You can use bling wrap, you can use whatever you have. If you'd like to even glue stones of your own individually on there, that works too. Now I originally thought I was going to cover the entire thing in bling wrap, but I actually decided to just do some striping. I thought that might look nice and change it up a bit. So I'll be gluing this to the plate with our hot glue gun and the E6000 and then be gluing the next one on top of it. Or actually, I think what I'm going to do is first glue this one on and then it will be easier for me to center. So. I'm going to be gluing it with the big side down to the base and the small side onto the bottom of the next level. Make sure your plates are square with each other unless you want to offset it and make it a diamond shape going the opposite way. That would be really cute too. And then I'm going to do the same with this cup. Glue it, attach the top, and then we're going to work on our knob. And I'm gluing small side of the cup down because it's a smaller dish. And lastly, I'll be gluing this on and then attaching the knob. To make the knob, we're going to be using one of these large gems that comes in the package they can get from Michaels and some of our bling wrap. I am going to cut the bling wrap down to two rows. This is just a scrap piece that I had from something so don't know lengthwise yet what we're going to be needing. And then what we're going to do is the same idea as what we did with the rope that we made the knob for the shell. Um, you can use a pencil, I just happen to have this paintbrush next to me. And we're going to wrap around, put a little bit of your hot glue on there. Don't glue it to the pencil or to the stick, make sure it's going to overlap on your um, the piece that's going around. You see I didn't glue it on, it still moves. <laughs> and you're going to go around a couple times and this is what's going to create our base for the gemstone. And I'm just going twice around so when I get to the point where I started that's where I'm just going to cut it off and that should be a good enough base for me for the gemstone. It's a lot cheaper than buying those darn expensive knobs. They can be seven eight dollars a piece. So now we have our little circle here, and what we're going to do is put some E6000 and hot glue, and we're going to attach the gem to form the knob. And there we have it. Now we're going to be doing the same E6000 hot glue, and we're going to be putting that on the top of our smallest plate to finish it off. All right, all set, and here is our blinged out one. Now. Again, make it your own, feel free. If you wanna bling this out more, you can put some of this if you have it. I can put a link for this as well in case you don't already have it, but it's up to you. I mean, that might look nice um, placed on there, whether you do it as a whole piece or just individually cut off um, flowers placed around. It's up to you. Again, make it your own. 
Okay, I'm going to show you one other one that I made ahead uh, from a different time just to give you another idea of what you can do with these. This is another one that I had made and it's obviously quite a bit shorter than this one and I added legs onto it. So with this one, these are actually Christmas ornaments that I had found and I would tell you to do that now but they're a bit hard to find out of season. So Christmas ornaments that I glued on as legs, same here, these are some that had glitter on them. These pieces that I used here are actually little salt and pepper shakers that I had gotten at another dollar type of dollar store type of store and I put bling wrap around I spray painted them silver so be creative use whatever things you can think of as risers um, this was a knob that I had from something else that I just glued on so you can as I said change it up do what you want to do with them and I'll show you these all put together and stylized